A Kenton County man pleaded guilty to a nearly two decade old murder and attempted murder of another inmate while in custody. It's the first time the family of the person he killed is hearing those words. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer was in the courtroom and joins us now with what exactly happened, Rachel. Yeah, Chris, and this was an emotional day for this family. In court today, Timothy Delahanty told the judge he killed Paul Clayton. Now, this all happened in December of 2006. Delahanty also pled guilty today to assaulting another inmate, and we have new video of that attack. What do you understand the facts of your case to be, sir? And I killed Paul Clayton. Paul Clayton's family wiping away tears and comforting each other as Timothy Delahanty admits to murdering this father, grandfather, and friend in Ellesmere back in 2006. To the charge of murder, how do you plead, sir? Nearly 18 years passed without an arrest. In January, a break in the case. Police say Delahanty approached a Covington police officer wanting to talk about Clayton's murder. He admitted to stabbing Clayton 50 to 60 times inside his home before fleeing the scene. He was charged with first degree murder and today pled guilty. You never totally heal from the loss of a loved one, especially to a violent act like murder, but it does help to get that closure to move on. Delahanty also pled guilty to attempted murder, strangulation, and assault for this encounter with another inmate at the Kenton County Detention Center. You can see Delahanty walk behind Jonathan Maskeel, choke him, beat him up, and leave him there. The attack on the fellow inmate, Mr. Maskeel, was brutal. It's very difficult to watch what he does, and it's really uh, astonishing that Mr. Maskeel lived through this attack. Clayton's daughter tells WLWT Paul was a great dad and even better grandpa. His time with the little ones was cut so short and so many he didn't even get to hold. Commonwealth attorney Rob Sanders believes Delahanty should be given the maximum sentence allowed. This is not something we ever want Mr. Delahanty to have a chance to do again. Um, he'll be right where he needs to be locked in a cage. The inmate attacked in that video recovered from his injuries. Delahanty is due back in court July 1st for his sentencing. Rachel Hersheimer, WLWT News 5. All right, Rachel, thank you.